you see a big power station rising behind you in the African bush and uh, we had a milestone event today. Can you take us through what is taking place at the power station? Now, I think what we're now seeing is that uh, the boiler, which is really the critical part of the project, uh, is coming to a point where mechanically the pressure part of the boiler is completed. And we have started the testing thereof and today was a milestone for instance to start the testing of the superheaters, uh, the high pressure side of the boiler. Uh, so for us it's significant, it signifies all the manufacturing come together with all the welding and everything else that has been done uh, in getting us to a point where the boiler uh, from a mechanical perspective in terms of pressure parts is now completed. And we'll go through its tests over the next few weeks and hopefully if that is passed we would then leave the boiler and then focus on the rest of the plant uh, in getting all of that uh, put together. But this plant had a difficult start in life and it was it did go behind schedule, there were issues around funding, but you've been really working hard with your main contractors and with uh, different suppliers to this project to, to try and get things back on track and it seems like you, you're a lot more confident about this project as well as your build program more generally. Yeah, I think we've come a long way, you know, uh, big, this is a big infrastructure project. Uh, the decisions were made, it was bold decisions to be made and, and then we had to solve quite a few things, you know, we had to solve the funding issue, uh, we had a challenge, we've solved that. Uh, we started off on this project, we had to find contractors, skills, workers, develop people, we've done that. Uh, we've certainly had our challenges on this project. Doesn't mean that they're all gone, there's still many of them lying ahead for us. Uh, but I think we've got our, 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 uh, our own management uh, has certainly significantly improved in our systems and processes, uh, as well as uh, the contractors and their commitment. This has been a shock not only for Eskom, such a big project, or for this community, but it's certainly been a shock even for the South Africa's construction industry, because all of South Africa has not done this for, for 20 years, and then to suddenly start doing this uh, meant a whole lot of learning for all of us, ourselves and our contractors. Do you think there is potential to get this project up and running by the dates that you are hoping for next year? We have said that, uh, you know, we're looking at towards the end of next year. That's where I'm, I'm staying towards. Somewhere in 2013 we should be able to, to move forward. There's still a lot to be done. We should not uh, believe it's all done and over. There's still a lot of work to be done. And, and uh, But in terms of uh, where we're at with our work program, uh, as I indicated at uh, end of last year, towards the end of 2013 we should be able to see first power out of Madupi. Yes, Madupi has also changed the lives of the people that live in Lepalala itself. It's a big project, a mega project uh, of a scale that's never been seen in this part of the world and it has created a lot of job opportunities and it's changing the economy. Can you take us through that? Yeah, I mean this is uh, the largest investment done by the democratic government of South Africa in terms of infrastructure uh, and this is the first one. Uh, this project is there for more than just uh, building a power station. Uh, it was very important for us to drive local I industry development. So today, uh, you know, 60% of what you see behind me comes from South Africa. Made in South Africa, the factories are there. We can now uh, get boiler tubes and manipulate them and build these things. Uh, the air-cooled condenser that you see behind me, 90% of that is made in South Africa. Uh, we have been very adamant that uh, employment must come from the local area, 70 kilometers in this area. We have 17,000 people working here, direct jobs. This does not include people on factories throughout the country. This does not include the mine that has to expand as well. There's another 2,500 people working there. Uh, and majority of those people come from this community. Uh, and with that, uh, we have seen certainly a doubling of the size of this town. We've doubled this town's GDP. Uh, I stayed in this town for two years. There used to be no shopping centers. Today you see them. Uh, as Eskom, we've invested uh, with our contractors 2.3 billion rand in housing in the town, have upgraded the sewage infrastructure, and have provided for local business contracts to over 700 million rand. And that's significant. If you can imagine 17,000 meals to be served every day, all driven out of this town, uh, it has a significant impact. But the last point I'd like to make, this is a clear demonstration as to how you can use infrastructure development and really drive economic growth, job creation. And I guess that's what uh, our economic policy now is pretty much predicated on uh, in terms of big infrastructure projects. And finally, just in terms of what's next for Madupi. What's next for Madupi is they've got a lot of hard work when I leave here. <laughs> There's a lot of work to be done. Uh, we really have to work towards now looking at the commissioning, uh, final testing of the boiler. We need to start uh, looking at the turbine work. And then we'll start seeing the commissioning of the systems. The electrical uh, cabling must be done, the control systems. 
And then, uh, as you can see, Unit 5 is already uh, you know, under construction, Unit 4. And Unit 3 spoiler is going up, uh, I think, uh, either today or, or this weekend. So all of this happens in, in parallel. So uh, for the next uh, number of years, there's a lot of hard work uh, ahead for us. Thanks very much, Brian.